Oh, hello, Space Engineers, and welcome back. It is kind of sort of morning time here, early morning time. I, you know, I've made it back from the journeys I've done the last couple of episodes, came back, I haven't put that in, and since I've been thinking, that might actually not come in, so, but we'll see. But doing a stockpile of what I have got, and I've ended up with seven, no, eight, well, that many of these little hydrogen engines. And I've been poking around, doing some testing, some thinking, and I think that is actually enough to get me into space. It's going to be something pretty small, pretty basic, but that will get me up there. And hopefully I can find something up there kind of worthwhile then we can come back down here and we can start picking up some of this other stuff because we've got some good cargo containers more than one of those large cargo containers hydrogen tank you know large hydrogen tanks even went and got these vents since last time I also what I've done is I went around to some of the local closer spawns that I knew where they were at and I basically, I've ground them down. That's where I got all the steel to finish this up with, is I ground those down, I got stuff out of them. And anything more than 10 kilometers from the warehouse here, I simply deleted out of the entity list. So, we kind of got a fresher start here, to where stuff that shows up is going to be, well, fresher, versus just having hang, hung around for a while. But, as I said, I think we do have enough that we can build ourselves a little basic ship to get up into orbit. And I think that is what I'll be doing today. So the first thing is I'll come over here, see if I can't get this thing out. And let's see what side here. See if I can't get this thing. I need parts. Let's grab that many. I'm going to start and see if I can't get this thing on a taller platform. Whoops. Did I get rid of my drill? Must have put my drill somewhere. Anyways, see if we can't get this thing upright. There we go. Now I wonder if I can get down here and lock it into place. And that should have locked it into place. That's not going to go anywhere, is it? No. Okay. So now, well, let's see. I'm going to continue with this. My color theme this time is going to be kind of all over the place because I'm basically going to be building or leaving whatever I put on here, the color it is, minus the heavy rust. So that's what color that was underneath all the heavy rust. So let's get some stuff out here. That's right, some of that stuff's going to be... And 
and let's, well, need interior plate for that. Gonna start with that. And that will lock onto there. Actually, hold on to make this easier on myself. See, is it gonna let me let me go ahead the construction component. Let's grab a couple of those. Let's put one on there. Then let's grab one of those. I didn't weld this up. Kind of drag this one out here. Let's work on recoloring it. Here, that's this one. Doing a shift P. Then I can come in here and go the rusty armor. And now it is what it would be slightly cleaned up with the rust. And now, let's see if I can't get this thing in position. There we go. So I've got that, and let me go ahead and weld this up, because that's going to be easier to do now. Gonna stick that in there. Yeah, I'll better go ahead and get these that are going to be kind of hidden, welded up first. Then I should be able to add that. That can hold off on welding that up. And back here, let's see, let me think. Yeah, let me go ahead and add a cargo container in here. Access denied. There we go. something in there? No? Did it? Yeah, I just did that. Okay. There we go. So we've got that on there. 
Now on the back of that, I'm going to put... One of those. No. And let's grab... Well, let's just grab a bunch of these. One more. Pulling out some of these. And we're going to want that right there. See, I do own it. Is there anything in here? There's nothing in there. Darn, I put that on the wrong one. Let me... You are going to go down here. There we go. Bet you that's that yellow. Nothing in there, and you are going to have a pad put on over here. Okay, then we're going to pick up, well that one looks like that same yellow, so I'll just go ahead and do that. By the time we get done with the scenario, I might be able to get these rotations right. And one more of those. And there we have our hydrogen tanks on. Let me grab this stuff. Get that welded up.
Okay, so we've got that. Now we need a bunch more weld pads. Let's see, let's go... Four, eight, ten to start with. Well, let's go eleven. Keep it simple back there. This thing's not going to have much in the way of armor on it. It's not going to be able to lift a whole lot of weight. Some, but not a lot. So, going to kind of keep the weight down. Might eventually stop rolling. Did I weld? Yeah, I welded that up. That's close enough. There we go. Let's get the rest of them put on.
Well, that gives me something that'll give me and get me into space. It's basic, as I said it would be. But I think I'm going to need a little bit more just in case I find something. So let me see what do I have on me. I've got some things on me. Let me see if I can give myself a little bit of help here. And let me lock that. And let me lock that. Might need to get up there. Get the hinge apart. Doesn't look right. Well, apparently that's just the way it's going to look. Now, let me see. I don't think I've got it laid out here. I need steel plate. I don't have any steel plate. Grab everything for that. Wait. I need a camera. find our auto cannon again. Wait. Well, be it in a fit of desperation, genius, or just boredom, I'm not sure. But I have built myself a ship. That is going to be what I go into orbit with. Well, hold on. Let me add some things to help give make this a little easier to get up there at least. I keep thinking of stuff I'm adding. Let's 
sad. On the side of here. And there. See, I did get a... gyroscope on there, didn't I? Yeah. This other one. going to rotate or not? There it goes. So I think I'll be able to use those to get me a fair ways up before I have to switch over to the hydrogen thrusters to push me the rest of the way up. Now, what all are we going to bring up into orbit with us? First off, I'll probably... I'm not going to fill it all the way with ice, but I'll put a fair amount of ice in there. I'll probably fill up the uh, O2 gen and the cockpit with ice. But I'm going to leave it at that because I don't have much weight to spare. Or lifting capacity to spare. But what am I going to take up there with me? I need... Basically, I want to bring a chair with me, a seat. So let's go... Twenty of those... And I'm also going to bring... I want to bring one of these with me. Okay, so I'm going to dump that all in there. Let's grab some ammunition. I'm not going to grab all that. A good chunk of it. While I'm here, I might as well grab that ice. And I want some of this also. That's not what we want to do. Okay, let's program some stuff here. Uh, let's see. Let's save that. Let's then go all of this. Turn that off. And those two.
Well, that's its own. It doesn't need a group. I'll just leave that alone then. So we can turn those off. Engines? That's interesting. Well, I'm going to delete that one. So we've got all that off. Let's go to these two. Oops. Then let's go into here. The rotor is going to be the rotor. Hinge. 15. Wow. You're going to be missing a lot if you do that. I may not use it on AI a whole lot to start with. But I'm going to have it all set up for that. Aiming radius, very low. 600, I thought we had that fixed. No, that's... Yeah, I'll fix that later. And we are going to target... Small, large... Anything that's called a station, enemies, neutrals. Let's turn off meteors, turn off idle movement. Okay, let's call that good for that. Clean up some of this other stuff. Actually, let's just go ahead and get rid of all of that. And I think that is where I'm going to leave everything for now. Let's see, this first one, we're going to set up all these on off groups. Down. On off. Up. On off. On off. On off. Stockpile on off. Then let's go turn that on and off. That on and off. Switch lock. Then over here is where I'm going to put that. I want to... Enable AI on off. I want control. Then I'm going to... No, that's not what I want. I want this over there. So we've got that. Turn that off. And while I'm thinking about it, this... I think that's going to be... Let's probably just do that for now. Just kind of doing it by sight. Do that. Upper limit. Let's try... 80. It's not going to be able to shoot directly up, but I'm okay with that. Well, I say that now, but we'll find out.
Okay. I think I've got everything set up. Inventory. Hey, I've even got a hydrogen bottle in one of those tanks. Which one? That one. So we've got all that. I think we are... I'll grab some ice to put in here. Then we are ready to head up into space. I'll come back when we are getting ready to lift off and be on our way. Well, I have got ice. Actually, what it is, I got... <coughs> excuse me. I got a lot of ice. I let the engine run so it charged the battery, which it's been sitting a little while. Is prob and it's full still. As I let the engine run, fill up the battery, filled up all the tanks with hydrogen. Uh, I forgot to put in the little conveyor line here to hook that fourth one up there. But I've got that all filled up. i got a pocket full of ice and some extra ammo. Whoops. And I think we are ready to try. I, th I think we'll be able to get up off this planet. Now, I'll probably uh, expect some time to come back. I've got solar panels here. I've got, there's some hangars over that direction with more solar panels. I've got storage. I've got blocks. I've got hydrogen tank. I've got vents. So, I'll most likely be back, or I, ex I expect to have to come back to pick up some stuff. But this thing simply doesn't have much lifting power, so I'm not going to be able to really come back with this. So if I come back, it'll be with something different. But with that being said, this is enough to get up into space, and that is, ultimately, I didn't want to spend a lot of time down here just looking around for stuff. I do have a goal of trying to get back home. So, let's see, it's been a little while, let me... Okay, that's my reverse. That's the down, up. So basically I'm going to be turning on 4 and 5 only for now. So let's turn off stockpile. Turn that on. Turn that on. And I will be turning that on. Let's unlock that and... Whoa! That's a lot more thrust. Thought I had that turned off. There we go. Don't remember anything out there. It's alright, we are... slowly on our way up. And I do have a the speed, the grid speed turned up a bit so it'll go past 100 meters a second. But I'm going to run on just the atmospherics for as long as it'll let me. Because that'll save me a fair amount of hydrogen. Well, that didn't take long. We're already losing speed. Uh oh, something's not right there. Something with my controls is a little off, it looks like. Looks like it's trying to switch back and forth between on and off. 
on the same thrusters. Starting to lose gravity. We are still in gravity. We're essentially, we're up in space now. And it looks like that is our first rock. That's awfully close to gravity. Let's see if we can't find another one. Because we need to find, see if we can't find something that has ice on it. Because with ice, this thing will basically go forever. So let's go see what is on this. And I did end up adding... I had one... Or did I add it? Where'd I put it? Thought I added that uh, O2, or excuse me, ore detector. Yeah, it's right there up front on top. But I do have an ore detector. I have found one and kept it. it there. On off. Okay, this thing must be bigger than I thought because it's taking a while to get there. We are officially out of gravity. Oh, I forgot to put a GPS point above the base. That's right. I mean, the base itself has a GPS point. Let me... I don't need that. Excuse me. I don't need that. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Always visible. Turn that on for now. Start thinking about braking.
mean, I do have some ice on board that I can use to refill my tanks. Well, I'm not picking up anything off this thing. Well, there's eventually some iron. That all that's on here? Let's make sure I don't have that weapon selected so I don't accidentally shoot anything. Well, it looks like our first rock has some iron but we have no ice there. I'm kind of looking. I mean, I do have the asteroid set density set up, or excuse me, down, so it is on the lowest density. So yes, asteroids aren't that common. Well, we are up in space. We don't have much ice. But see, I can transfer this stuff over now because it's not going to slow me down. But we are in space. We made it. Now, just need to live. So, I'll continue to poke around up here, see if I can't find a asteroid that's got some ice on it. And that is probably where you will find me next time. So, thank you for watching.